Hey, y'all. Uh, we Let me get my computer set up so I can see where we are. And that, if you hear that noise, it's the compressor. So I'm going to show y'all a little bit of that first so we can get rid of the noise. Um, let me make sure that I am on. And I hope everybody is having a blessed day. Let me make sure that I am. Okay. On. Oops, I got to turn myself off. And I hope everybody is having. Okay. I really can't see the comments and anything, but I did just wanted to make sure that I was in the right place. So what we're going to be doing is I have an old window, and I am going to be applying the Prima design on the window, but I kind of felt like I wanted something like rain running down the glass. So, I thought about using some foil. I carry this, this is uh, Jennifer Ferguson's um, Waterfall, an appropriate name, I thought. And I do carry this, but I don't have it listed on the website. Oh, is that not just absolutely beautiful? I just love it. But I'm going to use that, and I'll show you how I did the application on the glass. And then we're going to be using Miss Lillian's Hippie Days Glaze. I'm going to be using the color until I see you again with her new product, Sparkle, which is a very fine metallic uh, glitter. And this is Dusty Miller. And I'll have all this information for y'all later. And then I am going to be using Until I See You Again with the Sparkle Color Larkspur. Very pretty. But I'm mixing those together. All right. Um, let me get this turned down so that I can show y'all. And uh, due to the glass being so large, I can't hardly reach the uh, camera. So, I might have to walk around to get that set. But I've already done the bottom part so that y'all could see because there's no need in sitting through the whole process. So I thought I would do it in sections. All right. So the first thing I did was apply the foil adhesive. And what I do for that is I take an old chip brush. Oh, I knew I'd get paint on my new shirt. Happens every time, but that's okay. Um, I take an old chip brush and a pair of scissors. And what I do is I take and I cut into it just like that and I nip it to where there's just uh, strays sticking down here. And then I use the Artsyville foil adhesive. And I just pour it out into a plate like this right here. And you might be able to see, I'll kind of hold this up in just a second, but you can see from the foil that it kind of is zigzaggy. And that's because of the way that I drug it is I took and I put the foil on here and I very lightly just took and I drug it back and forth like that and I would skip a little bit. I didn't put it 100% and I just kept dragging it like that. And, <clears throat> and whenever it gets tacky, then it's ready to apply the foil. And what I really like about Artsyville Foil Adhesive is that you can let this sit for a month, a year, and it's still tacky. So that's really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, since I've already got it on the glass due to dry time, and I'm going to go ahead and set that there, is I hope you can see it on this dark blue. And see, I'm really not putting a lot. I'm just dabbing it on the end of my brush like that there. And then I just put it and I drug it just like that. 
y'all can see that where it's wet. And then if I felt like I had a little bit too much, but I really wasn't really particular, I just started dragging and just went to the bottom and I would start at the bottom of the glass and come up. But that is just how easy that was to apply. And I just done zigzags just like that. And then I just put my brush in water and washed it out. Okay, now to the fun part. Let me turn this around. You know what? Yeah, let me go ahead and put the foil on. I just hate that y'all have to hear the compressor. But at least I did get it outside. All right. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Mary. And what I did is I cut my foil already to the size of my window. And I'm just going to take and pull it down cross like that and let it lay in there. I just think this is so pretty and it was just ironic that the name of it was Waterfall and that's kind of the look I was going for was water. Okay, and now that that's in place, I'm just gonna take one of these scrubbies and you can get them from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, anywhere like that. And you're just going to rub it back and forth and and you would think let me get this again now you would think for the foil to adhere that this is the side that you would put down but it's not it's this side you always want to put the ugly side down and that's where the transfer comes from this is the piece that I did on the other one you can kind of see that there's still a little bit left there. And I'll save this and I'll use that on other stuff. Got to get me an air conditioner out here. It's hot. That's why I got the hat on. And you just rub it back and forth. And again, I'm not going for 100%. And then there you go. Is that not pretty? And so easy to do. Okay. And like I said, I will save this because there's still a lot of foil on there. If I don't want exact linear and I'm just going for 100%, then I will definitely use this again. All right. Now, let me turn this back around because I've already got that poured over there kind of a large window. I guess I could have found a smaller one to work with, but that's okay. Now, what I did is I've gotten uh, Miss Lillian's Hippie Days Glaze and her new product, Sparkle, and I have mixed these together. And you can see in the cup, just about, not very much product at all. And <clears throat> what I've done is I just kind of drizzled along here and I was trying to, because of the compressor and the noise, uh, to where we wouldn't have to wait so long. And then the other color that I chose was Until You See Me Again. And then I chose the Sparkle Color Larkspur. I think that is really pretty. She's really got some gorgeous glitter material. Sparkle, metallic colors. So, um... What I'm going to do is because I kind of wanted to outline the um, transfer from Prima. And I'm thinking about actually, because of the light green, I'm thinking about adding in a little bit of the green color of the Hippie Days Lace. I don't know. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. But I can always do that later. But I kind of wanted to make this look like the water was pooling up. Actually, I think I am going to add in the color Midnight at Oasis because it's a dark blue. That way it looks like the water is kind of puddled up maybe a little. And you don't have to use much either. It takes very little. And you know what? If you get too much... Okay, 
If you get too much, you think you have, you can take a rag and just dab in it like that. And it will lift some up. In fact, oh, I like that. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to drag this. See, it's just being af not afraid to try something new. Because if you don't like it, you can just scrape it all off and start all over. It's just that simple. Okay, now I'm going to take my air. And I have 20 uh, pounds of pressure on here because I didn't want a lot of air pressure because it would blow it everywhere. And I'm just going to squirt that just a little. See you again just a dab. That may be a little much, so I'm just going to reach down in there, pull some of it up, drag it just a little. to it. No, Mary, I do not own a shirt without paint. <laughs> and I just got this one. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> hey, Avis, how are you? Where are you from? Okay, now, um, and what I'm going to do is I will turn this around because I don't want to get this wet. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. And actually, I'm going to scoot this down. And I'm thinking about going ahead and going around the whole perimeter. I was thinking maybe just to make the water pool. But I think I'm actually going to frame it out. I really like how that looks. And it kind of gives it its own frame. So I'm probably going to do that. And I'll go ahead and apply the transfer here. Well, I am really liking that. That really looks like a, a, a wave. That's really cool. Okay, I hope that y'all are able to see that. Okay, and again, what I normally do... is I know that this is where I want it because this and this fell about the same distance because I kind of measured it. So I'm going to put that in place and I'm going to put my, I don't want to put tape on the foil. So I'm just going to very gently, oh, I've let that get hot, y'all. Okay, but that's all right because I am, Tell you what, let me, because it is warm out here, and whenever you get your transfers, you want to make sure that you don't leave them out in your garage or in the heat, because it can affect how they uh, transfer off. In fact, I was thinking about doing that one, a different one, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and use that one because I may end up making it a distressed one as it is. So what I'm going to do is I just pull this up, pull it back, and I don't want that, so I'm just going to pull it off because I'm probably going to distress it anyway. And then I cut that part off. 
so that whenever I put it down, I know that it's not going to go anywhere and it will stay in position. Okay, and I'm going to lightly put that in place. Okay, and then I'm going to roll this back, but I'm still going to be holding my hand on the part that's down. And then see how nicely that's just rolling right off. Oh, wow. That gives a whole different look to the rose. That is really pretty. And I don't want to put a lot of pressure on the glass. And actually, I really wasn't even sure how this would turn out because I haven't done one of these over foil. But that's what it's all about is for it to experiment. Oh, wow. Because these windows are really old, so I want to be careful not to push too hard and break the, the glass. That is really pretty, y'all. You can see how the bubble is coming up. If you can get that bubble started, and these really come off really easy. They are not very hard to get uh, to transfer at all. was going to be. And you know what? I'm almost thinking of not even putting one up here and going ahead and drizzling this down and not putting one up here. I'll have to think about that. What do y'all think? Makes part of this part of the rain. And whenever I'm through, I will probably... Um, you know, this would be beautiful hanging outside, so I may put uh, Miss Lillian's exterior top coat so that uh, you could hang it outside. That'd be beautiful on a porch with the sunlight. Very pretty. Really gives a different dimension to the whole thing. Wednesday at 5, live at 5. Um, I've got a couple of ideas. Uh, I have a guitar that I was thinking about doing something to. And I have a um, sewing box. Oh, wow. That is really pretty. I don't know with the lighting and the foil if y'all can actually see the transfer. I would take my phone off, but I don't know. Let me see if I can lift this up and see if y'all can see the transfer. It is absolutely stunning in person. I'm just not sure what it's looking like on there, but it is really pretty, very pretty. And I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like in the sunlight. And I think here I am going to just kind of let this drizzle down and I'll take my air compressor and I'll kind of blow it down into where I don't have any of the foil and just make it look like it's trickling down like the foil does. 
All right, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed. And if you have any questions, um, be sure to ask, and uh, I'd be happy to answer. And um, y'all have a blessed day, and I appreciate any shares that I get as well. Thank y'all very much. Now I have to get to the phone. I can't reach it back there, y'all. Bye, y'all.